whatever little I've seen of Oma, she looks amazing. She looks way too much fun. They even let her try out in the assist mode for the last mission here. And I can't believe how good she is. First thing first, red unit, but she is a ranged one. And this one is the second unit I really want. She ignores block and she gets 20% increased physical attack, which is nice, but not all that important. When she's healthy, plus one movement, who is going to say no to a plus one movement? And when her on her ally performs a single target attack, Balur will be called to attack again, dealing an extra 40% physical attack and de as damage and stealing two buffs and one energy. What the hell is this? As a passive, first attack, single target damage, after attacking she can move again with the remaining movement plus one. For a ranged unit, someone that wants to be safe, this is fantastic. Reaction before being hit with a melee attack, she inflicts blind, uh, which is like 70-75%, oh sorry, 80% chance to miss. After dodging, she strikes back for 70% damage and retreats by two tiles. Even if someone gets close, <laughs> she just says goodbye, moves back and deals damage. Skills-wise, hovering support, she makes Balur stay on the target, movement up, jump, attack up. Jump is freaking amazing too. I've been trying jump on Faisal. I took away all of his skills. I just left him with the AoE and the buff that gives him plus one movement and jump. He became so much better as a damage dealer with an extra movement. And she can just buff someone with this. When Balur is called to attack or heal, skill effect increased by 1.5 times, lasting for two turns. Uh, this one, attack or cool breeze. Cool breeze I'm not that big a fan of, but I've seen this one proc automatically. On the other hand, 80% damage to a single target, plus blind and physical defense down 3. This is insane for 2 rounds. I like the character too, the fact that she uses parrots is really really fun. The blind, defense down, energy regen, heal. Not to mention, she dispels heal block before healing. That's the first character that does it. If you want your healer to dispel heal block, you need to use a tarot and that tarot only dispels after the characters are targeted. So your heal, at least for that turn, gets completely burned. Oh, and of course, the last one, at the end of the turn, if basic attack or skill was used, she heals all allies 20% of the physical attack and dispel one debuff. This is a fantastic kit, both from an offensive standpoint as well as a defensive standpoint. The amount of support she brings is absolutely insane. Dore, dore. And that's the jump back, <laughs> plus damage. This one is also only costs two energy, should be able to come over here, blind both of them. I cannot wait, I really cannot wait. I really hope everything goes according to plan, but even if that's the case, the sooner Homa is going to come home is going to be in four more weeks. Yes, we're going to have two weeks of Safia, then two weeks of Auguste. Auguste should be the next one. And I'm sure people are already being very, very doubtful about who they should be pulling, since Auguste is going to be yet another really high tier unit. As far as I remember, he's got strong AV attacks as well as three extra turns. So he might actually be one very hard unit to stop, especially in PvP. But at the same time, he's just a damage dealer. We've got plenty, we should still be fine. I uh, don't have, oh, still have two energy. All right, because she steals energy. <laughs> She's be using this thing every single turn. <laughs> and let's make him spawn the second wave of enemies. Okay, so one summon and extra turn. As for you, still nice and in range for most of them. I don't know, I really like that they let you try these units out. 
but at the same time you die a little bit inside when that happens because you really want them to be playable as soon as possible. <laughs> I haven't tried giving the buff to herself, see if this even works. That's a lot of movement. Okay, let's take this one down. Uh, should be fine with just a normal attack. The only units that took damage were the summons. And that's yet another wave of enemies. <laughs> They're still not stopping. <laughs> and let's spawn another wave of assassins. A little bit of a weird thing, I haven't been able to use the basic attack like at all. I've only been using skill every single turn. <laughs> uh, money bags, we still have 17 coins. Going to be fine with yet another round of summons. Uh, these are all these summons. I don't need to heal, just need to kill. <laughs> 18 people, that's also the extra condition done. That's going to be it for me for the moment. As always, thanks a lot for coming by and see you guys around soon. Ciao! <laughs> Oh,